Like, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode with Rosalie. Your support feels like bananas and avocados. <laughs> it's just like, it's so sweet. Ha, huh? see what I did there? Marhaba, welcome everybody. It's your girl Rosalie. Welcome to the Ultimate World Music Channel. We're diving into something very special again today. It has been a minute since I have listened to and reacted to music from the Arabic world, be it Lebanon, Morocco, but I love Arabic music. I love the Arabic community and I feel like it indeed, once I started putting out videos more consistently, there was a big um, following, a lot of support from the Arabic community. And I want you to know I have not forgotten you. I love you guys. Ohebukum jamian. Well, I hope I said it right. So today I am going to dive into something special, Nancy Ajram. One of my most fa favorite Arabic singers has released a new song, Ala Shenik. And um, if I see correctly, the, it, the title means in English, For You. We're going to dive into the lyrics in the end, as we usually do. But I want to check this out. I'm excited to explore it. I love Nancy. She is a beautiful woman, has a, a beautiful voice. Nancy Adram is from Beirut in Lebanon, um, a beautiful country that, God willing, inshallah, I still want to visit. She is specifically from Akhafie. I hope I'm saying that right, which, in, which is an upper class area in eastern Beirut in Lebanon. The songs that I know of her are usually very joyful, very upbeat, very playful. Um, this song, again, I believe is uh, titled For You, uh, and um, we're gonna find out what it's about. But I'm excited to check it out, so let's dive right in. Here we go. Mm. Who else eats ramen noodles out there? I love the bright colors. Something I love about Arabic culture. The beat, the colors. Okay, 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 okay. Couple of things. I love the ring stuff in her hair. She's really, she's got that high, high top um, Ariana Grande ponytail going on. I know that thing's been around since before, way before Ariana Grande, but I feel like she's kind of coined that hairstyle. So she really has that poppy, you know, really high ponytail going on. Beautiful as always. I don't know how he, she, women like her, Haifa Webe, uh, just constantly just look so beautiful and young that they, they don't age I, Arabic people are so beautiful um but what I really love is the bright colors that's something that I loved and appreciated so much when I went to Israel Palestine when I went to Africa uh, different places around the world this is why I love world music so much where there's so many different elements of culture and color uh, shout out to all of you who uh, don't usually listen to music like this came here maybe from the the metal groups or the rap groups and you're like let me give it a try right why not why not shout out to you for trying something different um, way more on the poppy side of course uh, I usually the songs that I've heard from Anansi Ajram have always been way more like I said playful about love if it's not about love and happiness it may be tragedy and suffering but something that is either emotionally very um, strong and passionate, be it on the happy side or on the sad and angry side. But her music usually, again, lots of color, lots of fun. This one uh, has a lot more of that Western pop vibe to me. Even the beat and how they're all coming in with that dance flash mob vibe, um, bright colors, athletic wear. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of the Western elements here. Um, but yeah, and we'll talk about the lyrics in a second, but there's subtitles, thankfully, um, just talking about so far, love and loving and a killer and just this, uh, ro the romantic playfulness. Let's keep going. I'm 
علشانك كل الدنيا في كفة وانت في كفة علشانك ممكن انام في التلج عشان تتدفى علشانك اه Love is mangoes and apples. Okay, a couple of other things here. I just want to share my thoughts before I forget. Now we're seeing how she's like put her hair together. Um, and this is something that the females out there probably will appreciate much, much more. Um, but uh, the way that she has all those little hair ties, I feel like it really gives that playful vibe off, right? The way that young girls sometimes put their hair together, like braids or like a lot of different um, little hair ties. It gives off that cutesy, poppy, retro vibe to me. Um, the clothes that she's wearing, even wearing that yellow, almost like Spanish looking dress. Um, and the, the guitar, the acoustic guitar strumming in the background, it has also a touch of the Spanish influences, Hispanic, Latino culture. And you find that quite often sometimes, be it in Latino or Hispanic music or in Arabic music, there being, um, you know, elements that are blended in from different cultures. Something also for Cuban, uh, in Cuban culture, there's plenty of uh, Cubanos, uh, people in Cuba who are um, Afro-Cubans, right, who are uh, very dark brown, very melanated. And the world is such a beautiful place, and that's what I love about music, about culture, is that it's not just one and then the other, right? Sometimes in our Western society, especially in America, it grieves me when there's such a push for division and separation. And it's like, no, we look at some of these videos and this music from, from Arabic countries, even the, pa the Pakistani music I've listened to, where you have people performing together, and some are a little darker brown, some are lighter brown, some are a little more beige, some are a little more chocolate, some are a little more, you know, peach colored. Um, and it's so beautiful, and they're all just making music together. There's no such thing as, oh, you know, you're darker or lighter than me. We are different. It's like, no, they're all from Pakistan, you know, or no, they're from Lebanon. But you're having these different elements because they, there's no way to trace, oh, this is exclusively Spanish, right? No, because... The world is is fluid, right? People, groups have migrated and have traveled since the beginning of time. There's no way to trace exactly, right? I mean, even people, when they do like Ancestry.com and stuff, they find out that they're like part African and part whatever from Norwegian or Sweden or German that they never would have imagined because, again... It's from the beginning of time that groups, Arabic, the Arabs, the Romans, different people groups have conquered, have taken over, have... have um, migrated and mixed and blended in and so I love to see when there's different elements from different cultures and it's not strange at all um, because none of us can call dibs on any of these things right <laughs> we're just all it's just all we're all part of one big picture under one sky and it's so beautiful to me so yes loving the you know Spanish dress vibe again I'm saying Spanish dress vibe I'm not saying that originated in Spain or in Hispanic culture but it just has that Spanish guitar strumming feel those influences and then it has the Arabic music elements that are typical even the way she's singing um in this song particularly and I feel like this is in most of her songs you can tell her sweet very female feminine voice um, to me, there's nothing crazy about her voice when it comes uh, to performance in the sense of, wow, you know, she's climbing these these ladders and jumping one octave after the other, or wow, some crazy vibrato or timbre or texture in her voice. She has a, a pretty voice. Um, uh, she has a sweet voice. She has a nice, soft tone. It gives off this joyful, feminine vibe to me. Um, but then what I love hearing is when she really taps into those Arabic notes and um, does those things and plays with her voice the way that she does. And um, yeah, the songs in general that I've seen from her are just, again, it's a full production. It's not just the focus on the voice or the beat. It's a combination of all of the above. And the music videos become this fun thing where you have a hard time sitting still and you want to dance along. And I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, sweet lyrics too. Your love is like mangoes <laughs> and apples. <laughs> I mean, you know, if we talk like that in, in, in here in America, America or in, in, the, in certain places in Europe, in Western countries, you know, um, it would be so funny. Be like, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode with Rosalie. Your support feels like bananas and avocados. <laughs> it's just like, it's so sweet. Ha. See what I did there? But it's just precious. It's like, yes, let's, let's, you know, use sweet things to express kindness and understanding and love. It's just pretty. It's just cute. It, it makes me joyful. <laughs>
See? You hear the trumpets? Electric guitar? Hey! My goodness. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Even that, um, even that, uh, that um, instrumentation in the end, the guitar strumming and those instruments really gave me a little bit of that Punjabi and that Pakistani vibe too. I love that. Again, something so beautiful about music from all around the world where you can hear touches of the Spanish guitar and the Hispanic and Latino influences. You have elements that remind me maybe a little bit of the Pakistani music. You have some of the Western culture, her with that baseball cap and wearing very Westernized clothing, right? Um, just beautiful and fun, um, sweet voice. Uh, it didn't showcase anything crazy when it comes to vocal abilities, right? Um, but I feel like the the overall package, what was made it so fun. It's so one of those songs that I just, I'll blast in my house or while I'm driving and you can't not dance. My hair is like a mess. It's like a wild mane. <laughs> but um, I like it. And the lyrics for you, I'd smash things. I'll break stuff for you. I'd tear the world down. You just say the word. Um, your love is a is, your love is a killer, like a murderer, an armed criminal. Your love is mangoes and apples. My heart uh, wasn't available; it was safe without a key. But when I found you, it loosened up, or I opened up for you. I think the world. I think of, um, for you, I think the whole world is something. You're something else. Um, I I would dance on the streets. I would make a parade on the street. No matter how much I say, it won't be enough for you. So really, like a declaration of love, right? I mean, just imagine somebody did that for you, right? I mean, you know, we know of flash mobs where people come together to do something special. But like, imagine someone declared their love for you or their friendship or their admiration. You know, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so shut up at your door. It was like party on the streets for you. Just sweet, just fun. I I don't know. I, I, um. Even if this is not so much what you usually listen to, I commend you if you watched this with me and dove into the beauty of Lebanon and Nancy Adram and fun music where Arabic music and beautiful Arabic quarter notes meets colors and spices and be, oh, fun dance moves. Um, even the dance moves have, were very fun and jammy and I gave off a little bit of that TikTok dance vibe, right? So the song was also very wisely done in the sense of relatable and trendy even her on her phone right even the tuk-tuks uh, when i think when we were in africa we'd call them tuk-tuks or was that when we were in cambodia uh dali dalis was what it was called in one place and then tuk-tuks in the other um there's different names depending on where you go for those little taxi wagons and she's sitting in that right really a big piece a cultural statement of her world, of the Arabic world, of the African world, but she's sitting in there with her iPhone taking selfies and the screen splits to her again, um, wearing ball caps and fashionable um, designer clothes, that vibe. Um, so very much West meets East, very much East meets West, culture meets, you know, modernity, and then that trendy vibe with the, with the pop and the dance moves. Really neat way to stay relevant. We gotta leave her that. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it with me. Sweet, fun song, hard not to dance. If you, like I said, if you usually don't listen to music like this, shout out to you guys for trying something new. Thank you for enjoying this with me today. As always, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below where you're from. Hop on over to Patreon if you're interested in becoming part of the team, or if you want to buy me a coffee and make song suggestions and skip the line. Merch is available. Lots of wonderful things. Y'all keep dancing. Check out my Keep Dancing collection also below. Just have a great rest of your day. Remember that you are loved and you matter. Till next time. Ayo! Hey